Sean, can we just stay here indefinitely? I mean, the internet here at Susha has proven to be absolutely faster than our marina. Well, at some point we'd have to start catching fish or something, but... Well, we could get our crabbing license online, potentially. Yeah. Get the crab pots in the water and live on crab all summer. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Got crabs. <laughs> Sully, it looks like you're working hard today, too. You've been going from sunshine spot to sunshine spot, and now you've got your Chewy. After a fun weekend filled with hiking and exploring, it's time to get back to work. And with some of the best cell and internet coverage in the San Juan Islands, we decided to start the work week at Susha before heading to our next anchorage. And just like that, we are pulling up anchor once again. We've been here for 48 hours, so our trend is 24 or 48 hours in various anchorages. And it is so sad to leave Susha Island it's hands down probably the best place for boaters in the San Juans, the best anchorage by far. I mean, there's just so many different anchorages here. It's just beautiful. But the one thing that we found out this trip was that our self, our Wi-Fi, our hotspot coverage is amazing. We have had no problem with our Sprint hotspot. Um, we have better service here than we have at our marina. The hotspot is better than our Wi-Fi at our marina back in Seattle. And Sean's cell phone works a lot better. My service is AT&T and I learned it doesn't work that well in this area. Most of the San Juans, my AT&T has always been better than Sean's Verizon service. And our hotspot is Sprint, so we've got a whole range of things and it's proven to be really helpful to have different types of services like that and service providers because Depending on even if it's five miles away, a Verizon might be better than AT&T, might be better than Sprint. So having the three options on board has really been a lifesaver. And it's... Ooh. Got some thruster action going. Ha, ah, funny. Living on our boat now and being at anchor as much as we have and letting life go on as normal wherever we decide to take life um, has, been, has been really cool. And it's, it's been great that it's possible. So I know a lot of people don't think this is possible or you can't maintain you know, your normal life um, living on a boat, but this has proven to be the best decision of our life. Moving on our boat and literally finding ways to take everything we love to all the places we love while still being able to do all the things we need to do. So work day's over, end of the it's afternoon already. Um, and we're gonna go to our next Anchorage. We're gonna start heading back south and kind of jog our way there. I'm not quite sure yet where we're gonna end up. We have an idea, but like everything in boating, be flexible. We might change our mind when we're halfway there, so. Hey, look at that boat name. Huh. That's a pretty good name for a boat. Oh, shiny. <laughs> it's like what you were called as a child, right? Like perfect boat name.
once we pulled up the anchor and rounded the corner towards Orcas Island, we decided that our next stop would be Blind Bay off of Shaw Island, one of our favorite spots located just south of the Orcas Island Ferry Terminal. Everything just cracked. It's about 2.30 and we are about to jump in the dinghy and support one of our favorite local businesses on Orcas Island. The Orcas Island Winery is doing a delivery to the ferry dock. So we're going to put our masks on, head to the ferry dock and get our pickup of some wine. The first time we found out about them was over Thanksgiving when we actually rented a car in Friday Harbor, drove to Orcas Island just to drive around because we had never been there and we found this winery. I had seen them on Instagram, their pictures were awesome, so we checked out their tasting room and loved it. The owners are super friendly, and they've been advertising throughout this whole COVID-19 lockdown that they're doing free delivery anywhere in the San Juans, contactless, safe delivery. So now that everything's opening back up, we're gonna support a local business and uh, refill Freedom. Sean, when we rented the car in Friday Harbor and took the ferry over to Orcas over Thanksgiving, what was your favorite part of that trip? Well, the Constitution was pretty cool, but the winery is awesome as well. That and driving a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sully, you're a big boy. Yeah. Come on, bud. Good boy, buddy! Got our masks, thanks to Dockside Mail and Marissa, the talented mask maker. We're ready. <laughs> You're ready. I'm ready. That's the worst one. That, that mask, you can barely breathe. That's right. I've spent many times sweating bullets at Trader Joe's with that mask on. You look kind of scary in that mask. Did you hear Sully just cry? He's even afraid of you. Uh, does he have to wear a mask? I don't think so. No. The CDC hasn't gone after dogs yet. Yeah. That better not happen. Talk about me oh, and <laughs> docking. That was a terrible landing. <laughs> Sully almost flipped out. I don't know what the heck we're doing. Uh... Can you tell I'm smiling at you? Uh... Or, or do you think I'm frowning? Or do you think I'm giving you a real mean look? Right now you're smiling. <laughs> Give me the mean look. Are you just, you just think I'm smiling because I always smile? So like Pretty much, you got permagrin. Answer? You have permagrin. Give me a mean look under there. Okay. A happy look. A sad look. <laughs> <laughs> Since we ended up arriving fashionably early, we found ourselves acting a bit out of character as we waited for our delivery. Could it be that the lack of air from wearing a mask makes you giddy? Hmm, could be. I 
got the loot. Candle, wine. I think we're good. Thank you, Orcas Island Winery, for the friendly dockside delivery and for the great wine as always. Now after the ride to the dock, I think I'll take us back to freedom, while Sean enjoys a couple bars of cell service. And speaking of cell service... Since we've installed our cell booster, we frequently get asked, how's it working? Are you noticing an improvement? We've had it installed now for the last couple months, and the short answer is, yeah, so far uh, we do believe that we're getting a pretty noticeable improvement. You can certainly look at the number of bars that you get. Uh, bars are an indication of signal strength. However, they're not the most accurate. Sometimes they can kind of falsely identify how much signal strength you have. On an Android phone, I believe there's a field service menu that you can go into directly on the phone that shows you signal strength, but we don't have Android devices. We have Apple iPhones, and I'm gonna show you how you can see what your exact signal strength is on an Apple uh, iPhone. I have Verizon as my carrier and currently I'm getting between one and two bars. It's fluctuating between. So I'm gonna show you what the signal strength is without the booster on, and then again with the booster on. To access the field service menu from an iPhone, you're gonna enter asterisk three zero zero one, then you're gonna hit pound one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna hit pound again and then you're gonna end it with an asterisk. So right now you're, you can see that I'm getting about two bars of signal, and this is without the booster on. So we're gonna find out what that translates to in actual decibels of signal strength. So antennas, signal strength are measured in decibels. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the green place call button. And as soon as I do that, it puts the phone into this following field service menu. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on LTE. And then I'm going to click on serving cell measure. This will give you the measurements about the tower that's um, serving your phone. So there's a lot of numbers in here that keep bouncing around. We're going to be concerned with RSRP0. RSRP0 um, indicates the tower that the phone is connected to. You can actually see I dropped down to one bar now. RSRP0 shows minus 117. So that's our signal strength in decibels. Now it bounced up to the top of the screen, negative 116 decibels. So right around minus 116 or, um, uh, or so decibels. Now it's improving a little bit, minus a 110. RSRP1 is the next closest available cell tower. So if it bounced off of RSRP0, it would um, make a connection with RSRP1. RSRQ is a signal quality measurement. So basically the only thing that we need to concern ourselves with is RSRP0, what the number is before the booster is on and then after the booster is on. So we've seen it come on the screen multiple times and it's around 100 and minus 110 decibels. Now I'm gonna turn on the booster. So as soon as the booster goes on, you'll see that the bars actually jumped up to four bars. And we should see that the RSRP0 number um, goes down. So now it's at minus 84. 115 to 84, that's a 30 decibel gain. The booster is rated to increase um, by 50 decibels. That's the actual limit on any boosting device. So. Usually we typically see between a 30 and 40 decibel lift. So I would say it's working. So to make that long story short, we're looking for the smallest negative number, right? That's correct. To show signal strength. I think the worst it can be is like minus 150 decibels. It's never going to be zero, even if you're like, I don't think unless you're maybe have this thing glued to the side of a cell tower. But I don't think I've ever seen anything better than something and that's maybe in the 60s or 70s, minus. Well, now that we've got a definitive thumbs up on the WeBoost cell booster, it's time for dinner.
And on tonight's menu is our favorite chicken sausage pasta with a side of Orcas Island wine. You didn't think we were having a big pasta dinner just to sit on the boat all night. So we're taking a nice after dinner walk to the Shaw Park and the preserve that's over here. Just a short walk from the boat, stretch the legs and work off our chicken sausage pasta. Thanks to the recommendation of some friendly island locals, we're going to check out the Graham Nature Preserve, which is quite a beautiful trail. We even got to meet some new friends along the way. Eat the food, Tina. God. Eat the food. Tina, eat. Eat the food. Oh my goodness, look at him. Mister, are you being rude? Oh, there are slugs all over this island. hours you think hour and a half yeah. quick little after dinner walk uh -huh. full-on hike thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that bell give us a thumbs up and check out this amazing sunset see you next time <laughs>